Hello everyone, welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorgeir and in this video I want to talk about how to download and install brushes from Gumroad. Let's dive right into it. Alright, so in a recent video of mine I presented this brush pack that I've been working on uh, which has about 35 brushes in its current version. By the way, thank you all for giving it a rating. Really appreciate that. Anyways, I'll be adding more brushes to this I got version 3 in the works right now, so I'll be posting that soon. But I have been getting questions about how do I actually install this once I actually buy it. So let me just go through that process right now. Uh, so first things first, I'm using Chrome right now, the Chrome browser, in order to do this. And I'll be showing you how to do this also in Safari. And then talk about some of the uh, problems that some people have been having. Um, when installing. So let's start by naming a fair price. So you can go anywhere from $5 up to $5,000 or something like that. You want to be really generous, but uh, let's just go conservative here and with $5 and let's just buy this pack. And this page is just for preview because I am actually the seller. So let's just click pay. And uh, here we see uh, the receipt and I'm just going to tap on view product. So this here is the download page. What I would recommend to do is tap on the top one right here. This is the brush pack itself. Here are some color palettes um, and some Procreate files which you can download and check out. And here you can give it a rating. Anyways, what we do is we tap on download here and now it's going to go ahead and show you this slide in right here. Now we need to tap on the icon right here, download. And now it's going to go ahead and download this brush pack. Then we need to open it. So we tap open in and then choose copy to Procreate. It's going to open up Procreate and import the brush pack. So now it should be on the top right here, Art and Design Brushes version 2. Now, as I said, version 3 is coming out soon, so this might be a different version depending on when you watch this video. Now, if you take a look at how it's done in Safari, it's a little bit different. So here we are in Safari. This is the download page again. I'm not going to show the purchasing process because it's pretty much the same. So we just tap on download on the brush pack and it's going to present us with this one right here. And we tap on download, nothing happened. It didn't download. Where did it go? Well, actually, uh, Apple might need to take note here because uh, it actually went right here. Not really apparent. It, there should be a sort of file downloaded or at least some indication that the file that you just downloaded here went into here. Anyways, this is where the download icon is so we tap on here and there we can see the brush that we downloaded so you simply tap on that and that should open it in procreate now if for some reason it's not opening in procreate if it's giving you an error message or something like that then you can locate the file using the files app so if i swipe up right here i can tap on the files app now you can also search your ipad uh, to find this this is where i keep it if you don't have the files app well, then you might have an older version of the iPad OS, the operating system. So in that case, you should go to settings, go to general and uh, software update. And then simply make sure that you have the newest software update. I apparently don't have the newest one, so I might download and install this a little bit later. Just make sure that you have the most recent iPad OS operating system. If you have a much older version of iPad, uh, then I'm not sure that you can actually update to the newest iPad operating system. And as a result, you might not be able to use Procreate 5 because this brush pack is for Procreate 5. So you need to be able to run Procreate 5 in order to be able to uh, use this brush pack. So anyways, if you have the files app, you can tap on that. And then if you go to iCloud Drive, you should have the downloads folder right here. Now you can probably also search for downloads and find the folder here uh, and then tap on that. And here we see these are the files that I've just downloaded. In here, I can tap on them and that should import Procreate. If it doesn't, then I think you can probably tap and hold on it. And maybe you tap on share. Yeah, tap on share and you can open it in Procreate. And yeah, I guess the only other thing to mention is if you have the newest iPad operating system, but you still can't open it, maybe then you need to update your Procreate app. So in order to do that, simply open up the App Store and search for Procreate. And if you see an update, 
icon right here, then you know that you need to update Procreate. And hopefully you'll be able to use the brushes then. I really hope that this video helps you out if you're struggling with installing brushes from Gumroad. Obviously I can't vouch for every single use case out there. I don't know what uh, iPad operating system you're running. I don't know uh, what browser you're running, stuff like that. But hopefully this helps you out. In case there is a specific issue that you're having with this brush pack or with downloading brushes from Gumroad, check out the comments down below or leave a comment uh, with your issue. Maybe some other member in the community can help out with that. I'll be trying my best to answer the questions in the comments down below, but uh, that is going to be it for this video. I hope this helped. Check out the brush pack itself in the links in the description. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.